Hi guys, Steve Girardi here. Welcome to Steve Strings. Today I have an unboxing and review video for you. Today I'll be looking at the Atlot new classical guitar. It's actually a sort of a cross between a folk guitar and that it has a folk guitar neck and headstock, but it has a tie bar bridge like a classical guitar. So I've got it right here. Um, it got a little bit beat up in its travels, but let's go ahead and unbox it and take a look. Hopefully the guitar inside the inside box fared better than the outside box. So let's go ahead and open this and see what we have. Okay, so far so good. All right, so this is how it has arrived. You see it comes in a sort of a, the typical gray Aklot uh, gig bag that they've been, most of their instruments have been coming with lately. It also comes with a number of uh, uh, accessories. Uh, to start off with, it has a, a guitar uh, capo or capo, whichever you pronounce. A number of other things are in here, including, looks like it has a guitar strap. Oops, looks like this does open. Okay, it has a guitar strap. It has an extra set of guitar strings. These are ASM Aegean strings, and they look like it's 28 through 45. Uh, it has a optional pick guard you can install. It comes with a cleaning cloth. It comes with a, uh, a Joyo branded uh, tuner. It has a string winder and it has, looks like uh, four or five guitar picks. And also, I presume this rubber washer, I'm presuming that is for the, uh, the guitar strap. But let's go ahead and put those back in here and take a look at the instrument. I should say that I've looked at some other uh, Aklot instruments, and, uh, and this is like the, the gig bags I've seen on the other ones. It's a fairly sturdy, uh, like a canvas or Cordura kind of material. This has a really nice padded uh, handle on it, which is very, very comfortable. It comes with two shoulder straps. Again, they're not terribly wide, but they're certainly more than adequate. And also here on the front, you can see it comes with a decent sized pocket, although it doesn't like um, bellow out, but it is a pretty wide pocket, so you could probably get sheet music or something like that in there. But let's go ahead and take the instrument out. So far, so good. And for the big reveal, oops. Oh, looks like it must have a truss rod because an Allen wrench was uh, in there with a band. All right, and there you can see it has a, a uh, an acoustic guitar as opposed to a classical guitar style of uh, tuning head. That is to say it does not have a uh, uh, slotted headstock with classical type guitar tuners. All right. And the literature on this describes this as a mahogany uh, top, back, and sides. And these strings are classical guitar strings. They look like they are nylon treble strings, and wound bass strings. So let's go ahead and uh, take a peek at this sort of up close. Again, you can see the headstock there is a, the uh, same kind of headstock, uh, or I should say the same kind of logo you see in other Aklot instruments. It looks like it has sort of a black uh, veneer, and I'm not sure if that's a plastic veneer or what that is. Um, the nut on it uh, is not described in the literature, so I'm presuming that is a plastic nut, but that might be bone. I'll have to look into that and see if I can discover that more. 
The neck on this in the literature is described as an okume neck, and obviously it is stained. It does have these black strap buttons on it. And from looking at the neck, uh, it does have a scarf joint here at the neck, although because of the stain, it's, it's pretty much uh, imperceptible. I can only see it because there's just a slight change in color there. Also a scarf, a scarf joint here at the headstock as well. And the fretboard from looking at this, um, I can't tell if that is a walnut or a, a, a rosewood. It's a lighter color. And the same issue here. I'll have to check on the, on the nomenclature to see if that is described. Okay, so let's start off by saying that this is a bound fretboard and it is smooth. It has position markers on the side as well as inlaid position markers here on the, on the fingerboard. All right. It looks like it has um, lines of black and white purfling here on the top. as well as what looks like binding here. And I was trying to see, is that like an inlaid binding or a painted on binding? And from the look of it, that is an inlaid binding because it continues all the way around. From looking at the rosette around the sound hole here, uh, that looks like it is more of a decal. And from looking at the, uh, the soundboard, it looks like it is a laminate mahogany. And from looking at the inside, of course you can see the logo there. You can also see that it has notched kerfing on the inside, but this has uh, X bracing on the top. And I should say typically classical guitars don't have X bracing, but um, steel stringed guitars do. I did note that K mice makes an instrument very similar to this. And I guess K-Mice is a, a sister company of Aklot, and, and theirs has steel strings, so it would obviously need that uh, cross bracing on the top. So we'll see how that impacts sound. This does have a tie bar bridge, right? and it does have a couple lines of uh, like inlaid uh, there on the top. Actually three, it's a black, white, or white, black, white um, accent. There's also a line of um, binding here in the side. And again, I'm looking, it looks like that is an, an inlaid binding and not painted on one. And it also has a, a heel cap here on the heel. So first glance uh, from looking at this here, again, the fretboard is very neat and tidy, very clean. From looking at the neck, the finish is good. No signs of any kind of running a finish or pooling a finish. This is an open grain finish, uh, satin finish, which personally I kind of like. I like the texture personally of the open grain. And hopefully you can see it's actually pretty nice. It has a bit of a stripe to it. If you've seen the Aklot's uh, uh, ukuleles, uh, they have a similar kind of, uh, of a kind of color and finish to them as well. So at first glance, uh, this looks pretty nice. What I'll do now is I'll go ahead and uh, tune this up and, uh, and see what it sounds like. Alrighty, I brought this up to pitch and it happened pretty quickly. And I've had a chance to take a peek at this a little more in the interim. Um, also, I did some measuring. The literature on the webpage has it's 36 inches long. It's actually 37 and a half inches from the very end of the headstock to the, the end of the lower bout. Also, I checked the, the length of the, the scale, the string scale uh, length, and it's 23 and a half inches. And I also measured the width here at the nut because this is not as wide as a typical classical guitar. 
This has a 43 millimeter wide nut at, compared to, I have a, a, a three, a four scale classical guitar and it's 45 millimeters at the nut or a, uh, I have a, a steel string, three, four scale guitar and it's 40 millimeters at the nut. So this basically is splitting the difference between a steel string guitar and a classical guitar. And I've already seen that that has an impact a bit on the strings. Um, and I'll talk about that a bit. Okay, so I've now brought it up to pitch. So let's see what it sounds like. Some good resonance. And certainly compared to steel strings, these are very soft strings by comparison, more akin to a classical guitar. getting some buzzing there from my clumsy fingers. I mostly play ukuleles, which have a little wider spacing for strings. So it's gonna take a little while to kind of get used to this. Has a nice sound to it though. Sounds good. Uh, first looks, it looks pretty nice and it has a halfway decent sound to it. So let me see how I feel about it after playing it for a while.
So I look forward to seeing you then. Until then, thanks for watching.